sugar phosphate backbone. The sugar phosphate backbone forms the structural framework of nucleic acids, including DNA and RNA. This backbone is composed of alternating sugar and phosphate groups and defines the directionality of the molecule and it always reads from 5 to 3. DNA and RNA are composed of nucleotides that are linked to one another in a chain by chemical bonds called ester bonds. And these bonds are between the sugar base of one nucleoside and the phosphate group of the adjacent nucleoside. The sugar is in the third end and the phosphate is in the fifth end of each nucleotide. The phosphate group attached to the fifth carbon of the sugar on one nucleotide forms an ester bond with the free hydroxyl on the third carbon of the next nucleotide. These bonds are called phosphodiester bonds and the sugar phosphate backbone is described as extending or growing in the 5 to 3 direction when the molecule is synthesized. Phosphates carry a negative charge thus DNA and RNA strands have an overall negative charge. Nucleosides and nucleotides. Nucleosides are compounds in which nitrogenous bases such as purine and pyrimidines are conjugated to the pentose sugars such as ribose and deoxyribose by a beta glycosidic linkage. Glycosidic linkage is a bond formed between the first atom of carbon on the pentose sugar and the hydrogen atom of the ninth nitrogen atom in purines and the first nitrogen atom in pyrimidines. Examples of nucleosides include cytidine, uridine, adenosine, guanosine, thymidine, and inosine. Nucleotides Nucleotides are formed when one or more phosphate groups are attached to the fifth carbon atom of a nucleoside. So you can see that um, nucleosides form nucleotides. So the nucleotides are formed when one or more phosphate groups are attached to the fifth carbon atom of a nucleoside. Nucleotides are energy-rich substances that drive metabolic processes in cells. They serve as chemical signals, key links in cellular systems that respond to hormones and other extracellular stimuli, and are structural components of a number of, en of enzyme cofactors and metabolic determinants. Nomenclature of important bases as nucleosides and nucleotides. Now we're going to use a tabular formula to explain this. So on the basis we have adenine, guanine, cytosine, uracil, and thymine. And then we're going to classify them under nucleosides and nucleotides. So under nucleosides, adenine forms adenosine and deoxyadenosine. Under nucleotide, it forms adenosine monophosphate, adenosine diphosphate, and adenosine triphosphate, as well as the deoxys. So it forms a deoxyadenosine monophosphate, deoxyadenosine diphosphate, and deoxyadenosine triphosphate. Now this can be applied to the rest, so I'm not going to state all of them. So for guanine, it's the same thing. The nucleoside is guanosine, phosphate. For cytosine, the nucleoside is cytidine. For uracil, the nucleoside is uridine. And for thymine, the, the nucleoside is deoxythymidine. So, on the nucleoside part, just know that they each form 
a a monophosphate, a diphosphate, and a triphosphate. And remember that this is what differentiates one of the major differences between nucleosides and nucleotides. Nucleosides have a pentose sugar that is linked to a nitrogenous base and a phosphate group. While nucleosides have just the pentose sugar links to a nitrogenous base, there is no phosphate group. So due to this, you can understand where the P comes from in nucleoside. Nucleoside analogues as drugs. The two nucleoside analogues, that is 3 azidodeoxythymidine, that is AZT, and 2,3-dideoxycytidine, DDC, have been therapeutically used for the treatment of acquired immune deficiency syndrome, that is AIDS. Functions of nucleotides. In addition to their role as subunits of nucleic acids, nucleotides perform some other functions, some other functions, and these are they are carriers of chemical energy. Nucleotides may have one, two, or three phosphate groups covalently linked at the fifth hydroxy of the ribose. So just as we saw in the table in the previous table, they can have it can be monophosphate, diphosphate, or triphosphate, and they are all linked to the ribose sugar. These are referred to as nucleoside, mono, di, and triphosphates and are abbreviated as N, NMPs, NDPs, and NTPs respectively. NTPs are used as a source of chemical energy to drive many biochemical reactions. Adenosine triphosphate is by far the most widely used. The second importance is or function is they act as components of enzyme cofactors. Many enzyme cofactors and coenzymes such as coenzyme A, NAD and FAD contain adenosine as part of their structure. Although they do not participate in the reaction their removal results in drastic reduction of the activities of the enzyme. For instance, removal of adenosine nucleotide from acetoacetyl-CoA reduces its reactivity as a substrate for beta ketoacyl coa transferase, an enzyme of lipid metabolism by a factor of 10 to the power of 6. Third function as chemical messengers. One of the most common messengers is the nucleotide adenosine 3 5 cyclic monophosphate, that is cyclic AMP or CAMP, formed from ATP. So we can see that there are three major functions of. Nucleotides, they act as carriers of chemical energy, as components of enzyme cofactors, and as chemical messengers.